Maybe not the most beautiful car brand out there, but definitely one of those that offer superior reliability and latest technological advancements in the field. Starting from 2020, Honda will be making a push to electrify its lineup, bringing in more hybrids and battery electric vehicles than ever before. In this episode of Automotive Territory Daily News, we'll be exploring all the newcomers from the Japanese giants, their upgrades, prices, and performance characteristics. Subscribe to our channel to always stay informed about the innovations in the world of automobiles, and let's start the engines. Honda CRV Hybrid Already on sale in Europe and Asia, the first ever US-made hybrid crossover from Honda will be hitting the market in 2020 as a part of the mid-cycle redesign. At the first glance, the changes are very subtle. Externally, they are limited to darker chrome and light lenses, while the interior was updated with a new 7-inch infotainment with optional Android and Apple integration, digital instrument cluster, a new drive mode selector and a wireless charger. The US-backed hybrid boasts a powertrain already installed on the Accord, a 2.0-liter inline four-cylinder coupled with two electric motors that produce combined 220 horses and deliver one of the class-leading 42 mpg rating in the city. Further noteworthy additions now available for the CRV include standard Honda Sensing suite of safety and driver assistance tech, remote engine start, dual-zone climate control, front passenger heated seats with power adjustments, and rear USB charging ports. Honda E If you're interested in the development of electric vehicles, you must be familiar with cute Honda Urban EV concept that first surfaced in 2017. For the upcoming model year, its production version, simply named the E, is entering the European market in two modifications. Both get a 35.5 kWh battery but differ in motor power, with the base making 136 HP and the advanced delivering 153. The claimed range is 137 miles in what we assume is a WLTP cycle, which translates to 122 miles under the EPA regulations. The four-person hatch has five doors and original Civic looks, while also keeping the concept's round headlights and the advanced multimedia that spans across the entire dashboard. In September 2019, Hunter revealed that the pricing for the E will be slightly lower than anticipated by the media, starting from €33,850 before incentives. Honda Pilot Black Edition Refreshed for the 2019 model year, Honda's best-selling mid-size model is getting a new top-of-the-line iteration this year. The Black Edition is based on the Elite trim, powered by the standard 3.5-liter V6, a fuel-efficient 9-speed auto, and an all-wheel drive system. On the outside, it is instantly recognizable thanks to the crystal black pearl exterior color, exclusive batching, and 20-inch black alloy wheels. Instead of a dull all-black interior, the SUV gets lots of red accent stitching and perforated leather upholstery with red highlights. As do some lower trim pilots, the Black Edition comes with Honda Sensing safety tech and an 8-inch infotainment with Apple and Android compatibility. It also throws in heated and cooled front seats, 4G LTE and vehicle Wi-Fi, and a panoramic moonroof. This video is a part of our annual coverage of new models from the world's automakers. If you want to find out about other brands, visit the playlist. The links are waiting for you in the description and the end of the episode. Let's keep going! Honda Civic Si On the heels of the recent upgrades to the standard sedan and coupe Civics, their super-injected counterparts are following up with facelifted fronts and rears, redefined LED headlights, and of course a revised final drive ratio for more responsive acceleration. The powertrain was left untouched. It is a turbocharged 1.5-liter four-cylinder tandem with a close-ratio six-speed manual transmission that produces 205 horses and 195 pound-feet of torque. The new Civic's performance nature is manifested in the adaptive damper system, Helical Limited Slip Differential, and a special sport mode. As for the visual design features, the newcomers show off 18-inch machine-finished alloy wheels, rear spoilers, and sporty pedals. The interior is equipped with updated Honda Link infotainment with Apple and Android support, 450W audio system, plus the Honda Sensing is now standard. Honda 
Honda Passport Back in 1993, the Passport was Honda's first entry into the rapidly expanding market of SUVs. However, it was not an independent model, but rather a rebadged version of the Isuzu Rodeo. The partnership between the two companies was ended in 2002, when the Passport was discontinued in favor of the Honda Pilot. 18 years have passed, and the nameplate is scheduled for a comeback as a mid-sized two-row SUV, sitting five people in 2020. The new Passport is built on the light truck platform, just like the larger Honda Pilot, but will have a 6 inches shorter wheelbase. The standard engine to power this SUV will be a 3.5-liter IVT CV6 with 280 horsepower output coupled with a 9-speed automatic transmission. While the front-wheel drive is standard, the Passport will get an optional torque factoring all-wheel drive system with intelligent traction management. Honda Talon The arrival of Honda's first sport side-by-side -side was highly anticipated by the UTV community, and it appears that their initial attempt to enter the segment is going to be extremely successful. The Talon is offered in two configurations and two seating arrangements, accommodating two or four people. The 1000X models are more of a trail type, while the 1000R is a purebred desert conqueror. The drivetrain is identical across the range. A 999cc liquid-cooled Unicam parallel twin four-stroke, coupled with a class-only six-speed automatic transmission with the launch mode. The humble versions of this UTV get a capable suspension and shocks by Fox, but the extreme unit takes it to a new level, featuring independent wishbone with 17.7 inches of travel up front, four-plus link trailing arm traveling 20 inches in the rear, and Fox Podium QS3 2.5 shocks. Honda Accord Hybrid While its guest sibling experiences a slight drop in sales, the Accord Hybrid continues to conquer the niche of mid-size hybrid sedans, and there are three reasons for that. First, it is one of the most affordable models in the segment. Second, it offers plenty of standard tech, for example Honda Sensing Safety Package, automatic high beam headlights, and multi-angle rear-view camera. Third, the Accord Hybrid features the best-in-class combined fuel economy of 48 mpg. It derives power from a 2.0-liter naturally aspirated inline-4 that works together with two electric motors to pump out a total of 212 horsepower. On the outside, the Accord perfectly combines a streamlined sporty body and aggressive front fascia. The entry-level model offers comfortable seats, plenty of room for a family, and a generous 16.7 cubic feet trunk. Honda Insight Currently, there are two models that go hand-to-hand -to, -hand to become Honda's top-selling hybrid for the year. The first one is the previously mentioned Accord, while the second is the compact Honda Insight. If the previous two generations of the Insight radically stand out against the Honda family, the third gen features a longer body and sleek lines powered from the current Civic sedan. Its cabin offers the best-in-class passenger space and a generous equipment package. All three trims come standard with LED headlights, push-button start, and the Honda suite of advanced safety and driver assists. Regardless of the trim level, the Insight comes powered by a highly efficient hybrid electric powertrain that is rated at 151 horsepower and 52 combined EPA MPG. Honda Civic Hatchback America's best-selling passenger car returns in the hatchback body style for the 2020, receiving updated exterior styling, revised trims, and more technology as a standard. As a part of the facelift, all trims feature new wheel designs, both front and rear bumpers now have a body color crossbar, while headlights have sporty blackout treatment. 
As before, there are 5 trams on offer – LX, Sport, EX, EXL and Sport Touring. These are powered by the same 1.5-liter turbocharged inline 4-cylinder, but the Sport modifications receive higher 180-horsepower yields. The 2020 Trim revisions include a 6-speed manual transmission for the Sport Touring, Smart Start and Entry and an upgraded display audio for the Sport and kit Honda Sensing for all of the variants. Is Honda your go-to brand for a reliable and tech-advanced car? Do you like the exterior design of these Japanese autos? Share your ideas in the comment section. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and continue watching other videos about the 2020 lineups. The links are displayed in front of you. Like, share and come back for more informative content anytime.